unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Or unless you're, what, baptized, right? Born of the water and of the Spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Yes, I think we all have a desire in these days that this word may really be our life, <laughs> right? That we will be the doers of this heavenly constitution. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this morning we come to the special instructions concerning prayer. We continue in Matthew chapter 6. Maybe we can take the time here to read those verses in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 10. Let's uh, just go to 10. Uh, all, all together. Okay. Amen. Okay. Good. Okay. Verses 5 to 13 together. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father, who is in the secret place, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm very glad here for these instructions. I think it's very good to learn from it and to learn and to be taught by the Lord how to pray how to pray. Right, definitely here it starts with it has nothing to do with an outward form. A certain method. Right? Even so, we see here the Lord teaches us in what manner to pray. It doesn't mean that we just, you know, recite it like, okay, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, ba 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 bum ba bum ba bum. Right? It, it it becomes like a like a broken record, right? But what is important that we mean it, that we have a heart that is in line with the Father's desire, and that we pray in this way uh, that the Father's will will be done. Right? I don't think that a father is moved by just empty words. Right? And so it says here, you shall not be like the hypocrites. This kind of poison is, I think, in all of us. <coughs> you know, to pretend. It says here also, in here, uh, it says instead of Hypocrites, it also says, pretenders. You know, you have an outward 
appearance of being a certain way, but inwardly it looks very differently, right? So it's just an outer surface on the surface, right? And so our prayer can be like this. We just learn maybe as you grow up in the church, okay, what a certain prayer should be like. Right? And you maybe thought from an elder brother, wow, okay, I want to pray like him. Right? Wonderful prayer, so wonderful words, so rounded and whatnot. But I don't think the Father will be moved if we just copy one another's prayer. Right? So we should not be like the hypocrites or pretending, right? But our Father, He knows already what you need, <laughs> right? And then in those days, I guess, there were people standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen. They would pray in the open, even on a corner, so that they can be seen from both sides, right? The more... The more, the, the more people see them, the better, I guess, right? <laughs> Four sides. <laughs> oh, Lord. That they may be seen by men. No, prayer definitely has nothing to do with to be seen by men. But it has to do with our relationship to our Heavenly Father. Right? So, don't get mad if there is no amen. <laughs> don't consider that as important. Right? Turn your heart to the Father and pray to Him. Amen. Not for people to be seen. It's really something we have to learn. Right? Because in us there is still that we want to have a... Sh uh, you know, be showmen, right? Our fallen man, I guess, is a showman. <laughs> oh, Lord, save us from being hypocrites. Amen. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. The very fact that, let's say, you, a God will, would stand in a corner praying a very wonderful prayer, the very fact that he would get a reward from man means there must be some people that would reward him. Right? One hand, there is a person that wants to be seen by people, but on the other side, there are people that want to give a man gl glory. Right? On a reward. Right? We should not do both. We should not be sons of the kingdom that look for a reward from men, nor should we be people that give a reward to men. Right? Because it's going to really poison, right? Stir up the flesh or that desire to be somebody in someone's heart. So if you are rewarded by men, because maybe the Lord really has given you something, right? And, and hey, there has uh, been a certain result. And now people astonish you and want to give you a reward. I advise you to run away. <laughs> Close your ears, right? Don't accept that reward because you will then have the reward from man, but you lost the reward from God. Right. What do you rather have? Be rewarded by God Amen. or be re rewarded by man? Right? So we should learn and have a desire to be rewarded by God, and therefore we don't expect any result. We don't expect any to be seen by men. No, we pray in secret to our Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen.
But when you pray, go into your room. When you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. The time will come, right? When the Father will reward you if you have been faithful and have learned, right? Then when he comes back, definitely great will be the reward. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I, I appreciate here it says, in secret. Many times in the scripture, we see that aspect that the heavenly things are done in secret. Are invisible. I mean, our God is invisible. Right? We cannot see with our human eyes God. Right? So he has done so and does immense of works. But where is he? Where, where is he? Stephen, where is he? Can you show me where he is? Is he sitting there outside on a big throne, you know? Appreciated, corner of the street, right? Appreciated by man and so on. No. He, he does it in secret. Amazing. If you would have the power like God, I think we would all do it, you know, very openly and we would like to have it done all openly because we want to have others reward. Right? But God is not working like this. Amen. Our Father is in the secret place. Amen. When the Lord, as a man, accomplished so much on earth, many times after he healed somebody or he made someone to walk again, very interesting, he said many times to the disciples, I command you, don't tell anybody what just happened. It's very interesting. It's wonderful. Our Lord commanded the disciples after everybody was astonished. Wow, our Lord Jesus, our teacher did this and that. You know, I think they were probably itchy, you know, to tell the whole town. <laughs> right? <laughs> but the Lord, who actually did it, said, and... I'm sure the Lord wanted that it is not spread because it was actually not the Lord himself, right? He would not have done it for himself. He did it for the Father's glory. Remember when the Lord came, what was his very first purpose? To glorify the Father, right? And not to be told what he, his works are, uh, among all the people. Oh Lord, amen. Yes, and then and when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. Yeah, that's also a very good practice. Yeah. I was just recently in a, in a car accident, nothing serious. But I was in a situation that I had to call 911. And I'm still today impressed of that call. Because that call was very short, but very powerful, very meaningful, <laughs> purposeful. And I tell you what, in that call there was not one repetition and nothing spoken in vain, <laughs> right? <laughs> you, you call 911 and you have a very clear purpose. You know what you need. You tell exactly what the situation is, right? Where you are and so on. There is nothing in vain in that conversation. <laughs> there is no repetition. And we are not talking about the weather. <laughs> we are not talking about, oh, you know, the Germans 
Oh, you have a German accent. Oh, I was just in Germany recently. <laughs> there is nothing unpurposeful. It is a very short call, but powerful. <laughs> After two minutes, the police was here, the ambulance came, the help was here, right? No vain repetitions, <laughs> right? And not many words. Because in your heart, you had just one need <laughs> to get help, <laughs> right? Oh, Lord, may we pray like this with our Heavenly Father. Short, to the point, meaningful, right? So that the Father is moved and really realizes what you want. Also very interesting, before the Lord often healed or made a person to see again, he asked a person, what do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want me to do to you? It's very interesting. As if the Lord not ha would not have known. Of course the Lord knew what the need was, right? But still... He wanted to hear it from you. Amen. He wanted to hear it from the church. Amen. He wanted to hear it from you and me, from his children. What, the f what, what we want from the Father. Amen. Right? <coughs> Praise the Lord. That's why it says, don't use many words. The Father knows already what you want. Can you imagine how frustrating it is? as a father to know actually what a child wants, and then the child beats around the bush and, and you know, makes up stories, and, and at the end they ask for money, you know. <laughs> 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 we are sometimes like this with our Heavenly Father. <laughs> we don't come to the point. Yeah. We are not genuine oftentimes. No, we should be very free, genuine, honest, Amen. right? And pray in this way. Amen. Amen. And then it says, in this manner, Our Father in heaven, I want to have this. I need a larger home. I need a better job. Is it? <laughs> there is no I in here. In the first section, there is no I. There's really no I. I go look, there is no I. <laughs> it's really impressive. After you address the Father, our Father in heaven, uh, there is no I. Check with your experience how your prayer is. If I'm in urgent need and I'm selfish in myself, the first thing will be I. I need this. Why did this happen to me? Why is my wife like this? <laughs> <laughs> my, I, so selfish, right? It's all about, Father, change this and this and this for me, for myself, for my benefit, for what I want. Not in here. It says, in this manner, pray your name, Father, be hallowed. Your kingdom, your will. It's really amazing that this life in us, this Christ came on earth, not for himself. Oftentimes he went up to a mountain. He wanted not to be with the crowd. I'm sure he took his time to pray for the will of his Father to be done on earth, right? Amen. May our prayer be like this. May we as the sons of his kingdom pray in this way. Put aside yourself. 
right? This is practical. It just shows in our prayer where our heart is, where we are at, what our condition is, right? And yeah, maybe repent from having been so focused on ourselves, even in our prayer. Right. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth, where you live, we are on earth. Here, the will of the Father needs to be done. Right? And if he doesn't have such a prayer from us, how can he get it done on earth? Right? Clearly says later in Matthew, for whatever we bind, what is bound in heaven, it also shall be bound on earth. Right? Even we have been given the key of the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Lord Jesus, may we really learn to pray in this way for the Father's will to be done here on earth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I think that's good enough. Amen. 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 Yeah, Lord.